it was around June or July of 1992 that the novitiate was here. It's not far from the monastery. We went up from the bottom on foot and we were all the novitiate together, three of us with the prior, and we were examining these ancient remains of Loch Rue. They date from some 3,000 years before Christ, and one can see from here all the points of Meath, and these have been recuperated quite often, these high places of Druidic origin, by people involved with modern Druidism and New Age and Satanism. We can see some traces of satanic activity here. If one looks carefully at the graffiti, it would seem. And the interest in this is linked with the fact that they were, as it were, trying to put themselves in contact with the forces of nature and of the beyond. It's an instinct in the soul of man that has never left him. If he doesn't find it in the true faith, he's sure to find it elsewhere. Because man, by nature, is a spiritual and religious being, is aware of things beyond himself, secretly. And if one looks carefully at what is here, one can see that it's all linked with suggestion of ritual, the beyond, and the sun. So it has something in common with New Grange. They are referring to these still as burial passages, but the passages were not probably meant for burial as such, but more likely for trapping the sun. In this point, at the two points of the equinox, March the 21st and September the 21st, one can here see all kinds of designs and things on these bits of rock. And although it's a bit chaotic right now, these places quite often would capture points of the sun. And it may have been that they were putting ashes and things at the other end for the rays of the sun to fall upon them. And so all this is way beyond history because no one was writing, but they were leaving messages and hints. And we can see these hints all over the place. A lot of work went into building these, even if they had no tools as we have them. You can see the design. Man's quest, of course, for immortality. Immortality tries to add to it by putting one's name. <laughs> but there is, nevertheless, here one interesting point for us Christians. It's the fact that we have here what seems to be a moss rock. We have the cross there. And this would be enough to celebrate the Holy Mass on. And the authorities know it because they've put a sign as one enters into this place of mystery that we're not to use it for celebrating Holy Mass. There's a, a sign as one comes in. But I've seen that sign also elsewhere. It's a sign which the Office of Public Works puts up in places like this not to allow Holy Mass to be celebrating to be celebrated in these places, but that's a pity because actually this is certainly something that would have been used for Christian worship. One can see by the ancient cross chiselled into it. Anyway, from here one can see the whole of Meath and beyond. And these hills would communicate between themselves. One could if one wanted to have a system of sending signals from one to the other. And that's of course how we see the link between Slane and Tara, because Tara, where the High King was, saw St. Patrick lighting that fire. And that was not to happen on Easter. The first fire had to be lit by the King. Anyway, here we are, 
and when I got back to the monastery, I sat down and wrote these lines. I actually added music, but I won't sing it now, but it was meant to be sung, and the melody is there at the bottom, but I did sit and think that actually these ancient Neolithic rocks, because they were built in the, new st the late Stone Age, that Neolithic period, do say a lot without saying a word. Where are they? All these souls that left a rock in time, trying their best to fight against the dark beyond the grave, and hoping for the best, because the sun was the hottest and brightest and most hopeful thing they saw. Maybe a grain of sunlight would save their souls from disappearing into complete mortality and disappearance in existence. Somewhere, on returning from the megalithic graves near the abbey, there are so many grains of soul afloat somewhere. Somewhere. So many pages someone never wrote. Somewhere. Somewhere. They are amid the aeons memories that travel with their load of histories. And there are scenes long seen that some eye sees somewhere. For there were many, ere a word was known, somewhere, somewhere. And meanings crossed the air, ere sounds were shown, somewhere, somewhere. And there was feeling in the heart of man who walked this ground before the ages ran their cosmic course from morn to eve's full span. Somewhere. And many dawns have passed beneath the waves somewhere somewhere. Across the Stygian flood, a tempest raves. Somewhere. Somewhere. For in the age's memory, an hour hurts on a little longer. For the power of meanings can be felt in sorrow, down, somewhere. And yesterday lives on where morrows fade, somewhere, somewhere. And many moments are with moment weighed, somewhere, somewhere. For even though we travel many miles and seem to matter little here at whiles, there linger yet some dimmed, forgotten smiles somewhere.